Hey guys, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So, another outdoor video for you guys. It's been a while. Um, I'm afraid that it's gonna start raining, so I'm just going to uh, do this really quick so that I don't get caught in the rain going back home. So, today I want to talk about Jo Malone Pomegranate to Noir. This is my first wearing today. And um, yeah, I just wanted to like get more familiar with Jo Malone perfumes. It's a house that I kind of overlooked. Yeah, I overlooked uh, for quite a while, but now I just want to test these things and like, you know, see what they're really about. Uh, Pomegranate Noir, I have it here. And I'm going to spray it on a test strip here so I can get the opening. So, mm, okay. So what I like about this perfume, straight off the bat, is that it smells very natural. It doesn't smell like chemical or overly synthetic. Uh, it smells like a natural smelling scent of pomegranate, of course. But I also get, I get a lot of things with this one. I get uh, a watery kind of feel in it. I get spice for sure. I get a sweetness in here that reminds me of like unripe fruit. I get some woods in here too. And when I smelled this without looking at the notes, the first thing I thought of was juniper berry. And then after looking at the notes, there aren't any uh, juniper berry notes in it. But it has this very natural, herbal, green, woody, watery, spicy um, feel in this perfume. So, pomegranate. Pomegranate is one of those fruits where, um, you know, looking at the fruit, I'm thinking it would be like super sweet and tart. And, and juicy um, well with pomegranate whenever I've had it I've been kind of disappointed with the taste of it <laughs> it is watery yes it is a bit tart yes but for me whenever whenever I've had pomegranate it hasn't been like overly sweet and I guess that's what I was kind of expecting with this perfume um, for it to be overly sweet but no this is a very toned down sweetness of like an unripe pomegranate flavor scent and for sure I get the spice it's kind of like a peppery clove kind of spice yeah it just smells so natural I don't know I think when it comes to fruity scents I like them to be um, very sweet this one is like this is a perfume for maybe people who want to wear a fruity scent but not too sweet like you know typically sweet that we uh, are used to in a lot of fruity scents so yeah i just i like this i feel like i'm also getting the scent of the pomegranate um rind skin and just give me a sec there's a dog <laughs> okay the cute doggy left okay <laughs> So yeah, I'm getting pomegranate, unripe, unsweetened, watery, fresh, green, herbal, realistic, walking through a forest, a damp forest where there's like pomegranate seeds on the ground and then you're like squishing them on the bottoms of your shoes, releasing all of that watery um, pomegranate scent. I like it. I don't love this perfume. Of course, I only wore it one time. The dry down is here. And the dry down so far smells pretty similar to the opening, other than that it smells a bit uh, less strong. So maybe this is a linear scent. Well, it is on this first wearing. But yeah, it's it's quite a nice, it's quite a pleasing scent. And now that I'm smelling it more and more, I'm liking it more and more. <laughs> so 
So yes, this is definitely something I'm going to test more and see, you know, what I think. But I'm going to read out the notes to you guys. I just uh, pulled it up here. Uh, this was launched in 2005. There's a lot of notes. Uh, bear with me. So there's raspberry, pomegranate, plum, rhubarb, and watermelon at the top. So it's a very juicy, fruity, berry-ish opening with rhubarb. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where the wateriness is coming from and also the watermelon and all of the fruits. Uh, middle notes, lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, pink pepper, clove, olibanum, um, opopanax, and gayak wood. Base notes are cedar wood, patchouli, musk, and amber. But in a nutshell, it's mostly juicy fruity unsweet pomegranate and the clove for sure is what i get most with some woody greenness in the background and it's it's a pleasant perfume yeah it is definitely unisex for sure but maybe that clove note yeah it's making me think of juniper berry and juniper berry is uh pretty common more commonly used in men's fragrances but it's unisex I like it you guys I would love to hear what you guys think about pomegranate noir from the house of Joe Malone please let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye